Okay, I'm doing this quick uh, screen class uh, for those of you who are using Vagrant and like me are using it because we want to do some advanced uh, deployment of software, web, or whatever type of cross-platform apps and doing it on um, uh, doing it on development machines and using VirtualBox um, um, in the process. And one of the first issues that you come across when you're setting up um, Vagrant on a CentOS uh, box is you come across an issue uh, with the um, authentication error when it comes to private keys. So if I go and I, as, as you can see, I have one box up that's on an Ubuntu box um, and it's running. And if I log in, if I go Vagrant SSH, ACS, it'll automatically log in. Um, for some reason, Ubuntu doesn't have this problem, but on CentOS, um, we have a problem when it comes to logging in. So as you can see, I'm logged in. Um, boom. So the SSH key works. Gives me all the IP addresses. Boom. You know, okay. So if I exit out of there, and I want to do a Vagrant up uh, now let me show you my vagrant file first uh, here's my vagrant file so I have two other machines I have two Cent CentOS machines I have a web and I have a DB so if I do vagrant up web I'll show you what happens so it's bringing the machine up so if we over here as you can see as it is building the machine it'll pop up here in a in a virtual box so it takes just a little bit of time so as we're doing that um, I'm doing this because I'm using, I'm starting to use Ansible and I want to be able to develop and test Ansible on my local machines before we start, before I start dealing with them on, um, actual environments that, um, I'm using. So almost done with this creating. So there it is. There I got. I have my machine. It's powered off. It's powering it on right now. Boom. It's getting the. It, so it's on now. It's, it's uh. It's logging in it's using Vagrant as the username. The private key using the private key. Now it's gonna do its little thing as far as destroying it and all that. Um. So now, so now see down here we get this authentication error. So when you start getting this, don't even, you know, don't even trip. Just go ahead and uh, hit Control C um, or on your Windows or your Mac, and then just go ahead and do these. This is still running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Vagrant. SSH web so now as you can see there's a password so we're gonna just type in vagrant which is the default password and so I'm in so I don't wanna have to do that so I want to be able to do like I did on the um, ACS. So I'm just going to run this command right here. It's 
chmod 600 and then tilde slash dot ssh slash authorized underscore keys boom and then just exit and so now I'm gonna do a vagrant reload web so it's reloading the web for me it should be restarting my machine Yep, see it's powering it off and it's going to restart it. Boom, doing this little thing right there. And so now I won't get that auth authentication error. Now it's running, logging into the machine. It's going to install the VirtualBox uh, guest editions. And you're going to do the same thing for, you're going to do the same thing for, um, DB also. Remember, I have this DB file here. Let me show you. I have this uh, DB file here. So I'm going to do the same thing for DB. And boom. So as you can see, boom, I, success, I successfully logged in, created my key and all that. Boom. It's showing me where, where everything is at. So if you come over here and you actually, if you're in Visual Studio Code, you can actually look at um, the makeup of everything. So you got the key. There's my private key right there. Um, there's my private key for boom. And I'm going to just do the same thing. So it's real good, you know, for you just to understand how this works and, you know, to get off uh, the ground uh, uh, smoothly. Uh, and this is only for CentOS machines, CentOS. Uh, this usually doesn't happen on, on Ubuntu. So I just wanted to record this real quick. And if you have any comments, if you think of a better way of doing this, hey, I'm definitely open. All righty.